Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the video um, detailing how I created the 3D bub bomb. Um, and if you've not seen the video where I 3D printed this, um, check the little I up in the right hand corner or down in the description and go watch that. Now as for how I modeled this, um, I created this in Fusion 360 and I started out by just creating a sphere because that's the main part of his body. And then I moved to his feet, and you can actually see me making a few attempts to do a couple different things here. First, I tried using the um, rotate sketch tool, and I found that wasn't giving me the results I wanted. So then I tried just extruding it up and filleting the edges, and that wasn't quite where I wanted it either. And then Fusion 360 was actually having some issues here, um, and it might have been my fault. Um, and it wasn't letting me use the draft tool on a part of that, so I just started over and I figured I'd work with some from a different angle to start with so I created two sm two spheres one smaller than the other and then just connected them with lines to um, give it a nice organic sort of cartoony uh, foot type of look and then from there I just extruded those up at different heights and then I used the draft tool on the back end to um, sort of give it its shape and then I filleted the whole thing and that's how I got the shoe that you see on the model and then I just used cylinders for the legs then after I had the legs positioned and rotated how I wanted um, I moved on to the eyes and how I did the eyes was um, I, I sort of created the basic shape for them and then um, used the fillet tool to round them off but they were still sticking out of the sphere weird because they didn't follow the curvature so um, once I had them the rough shape that I wanted, I created a second sphere, scaled it up just slightly, and um, used the intersect tool to only or to give the um, eyes the curve that I wanted, um, and that worked out pretty nicely. And for the um, crank in the back, I just basically used a sketch and um, created them sort of in the same way I created the shoes with two spheres connecting them and then rounding them out with fillet um, so that worked out pretty well and then the last thing was the wick and actually for that I used the um, form tool or sculpt I can't remember what Fusion 360 calls it um, but I just created a used a cylinder form there and um, just sort of curved it off like the wick normally is on a babam. so ultimately there wasn't anything too fancy or difficult here um, but if you guys have any questions about anything specific I did in here, I'd be more than happy to explain, or um, if it's complicated enough, I will make a video about it. So just let me know down in the comments, and then I will leave you to watch the rest of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time.